Good Sunday morning, everybody. Um, we uh, did a little shopping this weekend. Um, <laughs> went to a flea market and picked up a couple of knives. Uh, but I was at a yard sale yesterday. It's right up the street. Our neighbors are, uh, I don't know, the, uh, had a huge yard sale. I was just sitting there looking and uh, started talking to him. Started talking about my son and his welding classes. and. He actually said, hey, you know, I got this welder back here, this MIG welder in my building. You want to come look at it? Uh, I only want like 75 bucks for it. And I said, well, sure, why not? Uh, went back there. Um, you know, decent little MIG welder. Something, to, you know, just hobby. I got a little utility trailer. It'll work for that. So, um, ended up saying, yeah, I'll take it. And then as I was uh, at the table where you pay, he had some knives. Now, the first time I went... Let's just put this one to the side for right now. The first time I went, uh, he had this knife right here, this Buck 102 on the pay table. You know, I uh, had like, a, I think $100 cash on me. I needed to get some breakfast, so I said, hey, you know what? Uh, he had $10 on this Buck 102. And uh, I just said, hey, you know, I need some money for breakfast. I'll give you... $80 for the knife and the welder <laughs> and he said okay I'll take it so got this nice clean little buck 102 it's just got a little bit of of uh, corrosion here and there but you know not bad at all I put some wicked wax on it but uh, you know, if we look at the tang it's got the little arrow symbol there by the 102 like the greater than, less than symbol. So this knife is an 87 model buck 102. And it came with this sheath. This is a buck 102 custom sheath. I guess he put some paracord on it, but uh, for $5, <laughs> I think we've done a, a decent deal. So the whole time up there, he's got all types of outdoor stuff, hunting, fishing, all just all kinds of stuff so I'm texting my two sons I'm texting my wife saying hey you know he's got a bunch of stuff up here uh, in the meantime I needed to go to the gym and work out and then go get my tires rotated my oil changed so I went uh, got my breakfast and while I was there I just went to the ATM and got some more cash I was like I gotta stop back by so I stopped back by uh, found an axe because he was just kept bringing more stuff out you know I found an axe I wanted to buy went back to the pay table he had put more knives in that box and inside of that box was this one here um, now this knife didn't look like this when I bought it and this was just yesterday this was all corroded uh, not not really corroded but it you know it had staining on it um, so I took the old flits to it and oiled it up real good you know you could feel the grit when you opened it but if we look at that tang stamp right there case double x usa no dots under it this right here is a 65 through 1970 case knife this is the uh, toothpick so i think i did pretty decent <laughs> you know i paid five dollars for this one as well and uh, got a smoking deal. You know, I'm good at finding five dollar knives, and uh, I found this one. I don't think this has been used hardly at all. I think it's just stained from just years of uh, just basic neglect. Um, but hopefully, I can get all that all off of there. And you know, I've already breathed a lot of life back into this knife. So, but let's just take a closer look at them. You know, both of them together here. You know, Buck 102. case toothback toothpick with a lot of so has a lot of walk and talk in it but if you look at these knives look at the look at that for 1965 1987 you know that's a nice large pocket knife you're looking at there let's look at the cutting edge on this thing this is a got a three almost what is that three and uh, I don't know we'll say five eighths cutting cutting edge 
with almost it's a full eight what do we want to call this eight and seven eighths inch overall length <laughs> or the buck 102 you know let's look at the cutting length on it you know we're looking at you know three and three quarter and uh, not not quite three and three quarter we'll so we'll call this three and five eighths with an overall length there we got of just right at that's right at seven and three quarter inch overall length. But yeah, I mean this right here, this is a good, good knife. If we look at the, you know, you think of a toothpick, you think of something a lot smaller. But if we look at these together, I mean, let's line these up blade to blade. I mean, that's almost identical blade length we're looking at there. I mean, we look at the tangs where the tangs stop, you know. I think they call this one here the the Woodsman Pro. I believe I'm not 100% sure. You know, I've watched a couple videos on the course, but again, I don't think this knife right here was ever used either. Um, nice little Buck 102. You know, my my youngest boy, uh, he's got a few of these old Buck knives like this, but his are uh, pre 86, I believe. Or I think the ones with pre-86 uh, don't have any symbols on them. You know, they can tell by if it says buck and then the bottle number, then USA, you know, but his are pre-86. Um, but I think this right here may be the oldest case knife I own now, um, with it being a 65 through 70, you know, no dotted case double X USA knife. So just, yeah, just a quick little Sunday vidya of a toothpick and a buck 102. Hmm. Not bad for $10 for both those knives. You know, this one here, again, I tell you, it didn't look like this when I got it. Just, fl you know, 10 minutes and some flits. That's all it takes. So if you got an old knife like this and you don't know what to do with it and you're thinking about tossing it or, or just giving it away or selling it cheap, get yourself a $8 tube of flits. Do yourself a favor. And then take that knife and pass it down to your children or something like that. So, yeah. All right, I'm out.